Whether developing a chip platform for diagnostic assays, a new way of testing semiconductors at an early stage, or a refueling mechanism for an unmanned aerial vehicle, students participating in the Jacobs School's team internship program do real hands-on research. Over the summer, 26 students were divided into nine teams. They were deployed at eight participating sites, Abiomed, the Engelkirk Center, GenProbe, InVitroGen, Delta Design, Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, and the Space and Naval Warfare Systems Center, San Diego. We had a lot more autonomy in, in the sense that we can make decisions and, and we could uh, just collaborate just the three of us, we were able to take ownership of the project. A second team resumed work on a four-legged autonomous robot to place sensors and perform reconnaissance in combat areas, work they originally helped develop as team interns the previous summer. We were really impressed with the, the quality and the thoroughness of the work that the intern team from UCSD performed. They did a superb job in terms of giving us something that was functionally very robust, it wouldn't fall apart after two or three demos. The team internship perspective gives us an opportunity to seek and recruit um, engineering teams with a broad background, software, mechanical, electrical. At Delta Design, team members fabricated and tested a prototype of semiconductor chip test equipment. It was really exciting dealing with new technology, real life um, issues and scenarios that you just don't get going to school and doing your homework, you know, it's just, I seem, it's very exciting. The amount of work that they could contribute was, was outstanding. I mean, I was, I was very impressed with, with each of the three of them. At InVitroGen, a newcomer to the program in 2005, team members developed a novel prototype platform for diagnostic assays. I got to experiment with a lot of things that are on the very cusp of biology, kind of where biology will integrate with other engineering fields. For interns and sponsors alike, teamwork was the key. It is a very powerful idea. The output is also way better because uh, we believe that uh, the whole, in this case, is always bigger than some of the parts. So who benefits from the team internship program? Students, definitely. Eleven of the 26 student participants were offered jobs and all now feel better equipped for the real world. In the long run, it just makes you a better employee and a better person. In the end, it's like, well, this is what industry really is like. Corporate sponsors also benefit. It's becoming harder and harder in the San Diego area to recruit um, engineers. And we see internship programs uh, and the team internship program as a logical way for us um, to preview new engineers. And it's worked out very well. We're way ahead of schedule in a lot of cases because of that assistance that we've had. That experience led Spayward to recommend that the program be extended to all 11 U.S. Navy research labs. Meantime, all of the 2005 sponsors will return next summer, and most say they are planning to host multiple teams, not just one. <music>